Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I just recently upgraded my M18 vacuum from Gen 2 to the Packout vacuum. And I wanted to share with you guys the reasons why, because there's maybe a lot of people out there like me, maybe this vacuum, you've had it for a while. Maybe you need a new one, or maybe you just want to, you're the type of person who likes to have the newest thing. And you thought, was well, it worth going from Gen 2 uh, to the Packout vacuum? And you know, ultimately it's going to be up to you. Depends on what you do. I'm going to share with you today five reasons why i decided to buy the pack out vacuum uh, instead of maybe getting just another one of these if i was having an issue or something like that there's some features in this that are going to be useful to me and that's the main reason why i upgraded but ultimately it's going to go to my last reason my last reason that i'm going to talk about today is the main reason why i bought this vacuum even though i already have this vacuum and i think it might be something that would be useful to all of you but i'm going to get into each reason and talk about it and again this is going to have nothing to do with uh suction and more power and things like that that ha that's no reason why i particularly bought this one even though maybe it is better i don't know but this one's been working fine for me for what i use it for so i've been pleasantly happy with this one but there's still some features on this one that i think if I was going to go to the store and buy one and price difference was just very slightly different, I would choose this one over that one. And I just wanted to share with you those reasons why. So let's get into reason number one. So reason number one is going to be that the hose is on the outside of this pack out vacuum. Now, honestly, between Gen 1, where the hose is on the outside, and Gen 2 of the M18 vacuum, where the hose is now on the inside of the vacuum, I prefer Gen 2 over that hose because that hose sticks out to the side. I'll put a picture up here of that in case you never had one of those. And I never did like that. I didn't like it just being stuck over here. It's kind of something that gets in the way. This is much more of a sleek look. Uh, it's more compact. You don't have to worry about that hose catching on things. But the downside to that is if I just want to pick up something really fast and all I, I don't need an attachment, I just need a hose and I want to press a button and turn it on. Well, I've got to undo these latches. I've got to spend the time, you know, to do that. Uh, open this up, get my hose out. Now you don't have to shut the lid back if you don't want to. Um, then you got to, you know, shut the lid, turn on the button. Now you can start vacuuming. And again, if you're just doing something real fast and then now I want to put it up, uh, again it's just a little bit more time involved in it and it's not like i said it's not bothersome to me i i prefer this one over the gen one but i'm talking about reasons why i like the pack out better than the gen two one of those reasons is that the hose is on the outside of this vacuum but even though it's on the outside it's nothing like uh the gen one vacuum it's kind of within the same footprint of the vacuum itself you know it's still pretty sleek and everything like that it fits within that same package and again if i just want to vacuum up something real fast all i got to do is pull this hose loose turn on my vacuum suck up that little bitty amount that there is uh, it snaps right back into place and again it stays in that same footprint so i really like that uh just for the idea of it's a quick way to just start vacuuming and there's no real things, no process you have to go through to get the hose out. Again, I do like the Gen 2 being inside compared to the Gen 1's version of it, but I think the pack out hose, because whenever I first saw that, I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I actually kind of prefer that over it being on the inside of the vacuum. So reason number two is actually kind of two things. Uh, one is that this vacuum is more quiet than this vacuum. And that's important in some cases. Maybe uh, if you work in occupied spaces a lot, uh, the quieter you can be, the better. You know, sometimes that's why I prefer the Surge impact driver over the standard impact driver because it's quieter. And therefore, if I'm working in a space, an office space where other people are working, the more quiet I can be, the better. Uh, so this one, whenever you turn this one on, and you probably won't be able to tell the difference between the two, but... So that's on on that one. Now we'll put it on put it on high on this one. Significantly less sound to me. I don't know if again I don't know how that translates on video, but it's pretty much 
I would say half almost. It's got to be pretty close. I don't know if that's with the brushless motor because of that or something like that, but again, that's part of it. But another thing that kind of goes in with that in the quiet part of it is this one also has two speeds. It's got a low speed and a high speed. So the low speed is even quieter than the high speed. But on top of that, maybe I just need to suck up something small and it doesn't need to be such a high-powered suction. And if I can get longer battery life out of going with that low, then the two speeds on this is also, even though kind of I'm putting that in with quietness, that's a whole nother thing that, you know, maybe you can get some longer battery life out of this when you don't need the full power. If you're just picking up a small little debris, some little dust that's been made by something as you've been doing work, maybe you put in an anchor or, you know, something like that in some drywall. Uh, so again, that's another reason why, again, I chose this to upgrade to this over the Gen 2. Uh, and that's another feature about that that I like. Reason number three is the fact that this is pack out. Uh, again, this would be something, this would be one of those reasons that whether you're in pack out or not might be what sways you uh, to this being a good reason to purchase this one over that one. Uh, but I use Milwaukee pack out in my truck. Uh, so the fact that I can use this, uh, it allows me to slide it in and out of my truck a lot easier. It stays in place when it's in my truck. It's not rattling around versus if I use my regular one, as I always have, there's no way for that to lock in anywhere. So that's going to slide around in my truck. Uh, it's going to be making noise in my truck, all sorts of things that go along with that. Now, you can buy some 3D printed feet uh, with that, which will allow you to lock it into pack out if you want to install those on there. I actually thought about doing that, but again, as I get into my last reason, that will make more sense why I just decided not to go that route. That route wasn't the one that was going to work for me. But again, the fact that this is pack out and I'm in pack out, that was a big factor in me choosing to go ahead and upgrade and buy this Milwaukee pack out vacuum. And the fourth reason and one of the main reasons why I purchased the Milwaukee fuel vacuum is because it takes these fleece dust bags. Uh, there's the part number on that, 4990-2016. And they come in a three pack. I have to purchase them off homedepot.com. They don't have them in the store. This will run you about $18 for three. And yeah, that's kind of a little bit expensive for some dust bags, but I'm never going to miss opening up my Gen 2 vacuum and seeing it look like this because I don't like having to deal with all that dirt and debris. It, it blows out everywhere when you dump it and things like that. And I'm definitely not going to miss taking my filter out and cleaning it with my blower like this and making all that dust go everywhere. And then it's just a, it's just a hassle. It's just a big mess. And not only that, these filters are expensive as well. Uh, so if you replace these very often, you can if, if those bags save you from buying these filters, then you're going to be doing well and saving some money in the long run. And it's just a whole cleaner thing. And again, they, they install fairly easy. All you do is you put them uh, into the box like so. Uh, and then they just slide up into this plastic piece and that makes it hit. Now, the only thing that I will say, and I think it's a real downer for Milwaukee, and I don't know if they're going to change it uh, in the future, but there's plenty of room for this bag to be a lot bigger. And the whole reason why this bag is smaller is because it also fits, I think, the M12 fuel vacuum, which is a lot smaller size than the pack out. So instead of them making two bags, they decided to make one that fit both. Well, if you've got the bigger vacuum like I do, that means you don't have quite the size of a bag that you could have. So you're going to have to empty it and, of course, buy more more often. I'm actually thinking about seeing if I can come up with a way to put a zipper or something like that on these and see if I can empty them and save them. But uh, I have used this this week on four or five different jobs picking up dust. And, again, you can see there's nothing inside of my bag i've got i've got a little bit inside of this bag here that i can feel but that's how clean the inside of my vacuum is going to stay and then on top of that my filter is going to stay clean which is going to allow me to have the best suction over the biggest uh, part of time as i'm using this vacuum so again this was a big reason whenever i saw that these took fleece bags i decided yes i want that because i have missed that in using that gen 2 vacuum you know all my bigger vacuums that i take my fest tool and things like that that i actually take the job sites for heavier cleanup or for using tools 
uh, you know, I always run bags in those because I just like it better and I will gladly pay to have that. So that's reason number four, I decided to get the pack out vacuum. And reason number five, and the main reason why I chose to buy the pack out vacuum is I needed two vacuums. Uh, previously, before I was working for just myself and out of my truck primarily, uh, I always had a wet vacuum at the place that I worked that we all we used it for was sucking up water of whatever kind. And so that was always there and I only used this for dry pickup. Uh, but I don't like mixing dry pickup and wet pickup in the same vacuum. For one, I don't like swapping back and forth the filters and all that stuff. But number two is anytime you start sucking up wet material, whether it's a nasty condensate tray, some old plumbing, or just some kind of a water that's been stagnant for a long time and it smells you vacuum that up in your vacuum you can clean it out all you want to you can do all sorts of things and then you go and you change it back over to dry you go into your client's house you go to suck up a little bit of drywall dust and then as you turn that vacuum on the whole room just fills up and starts to smell just like that nasty water do not go in there Woo! So I needed two vacuums. I bought the pack out. Since it takes the filter bags, this will be my dry vacuum that I use probably 75 to 80% of the time. That's the situations that I run into and that's gonna stack up in my truck, uh, just like I showed as I said that it was pack out. And then now the wet vacuum, it actually fits in my tailgate on top of my deck drawers in between that and my truck cover so it can stay back there so it can get as stinky as it wants to it's just going to be in the bed of my truck but milwaukee also sells a wet filter 49.90215. that is what i have put into the, this vacuum now so this is going to stay a wet vacuum that filter can stay in there at all times so now i don't have to swap filters I don't have to change one from dry to wet. I don't have to worry about this being in my truck and it's had water in it and now it's gonna stink up the cab of my truck. Uh, this can stay in the bed of my truck. It can be as stinky as it wants to. Uh, and again, I, I do clean it out. So I'm not saying you just leave wet stuff in there and let it get stinky, but eventually you're gonna suck up something that it's gonna take a month or two for it to get out of there. And again, it just stinks up wherever it's at as soon as you flip that switch on that exhaust starts blowing that smell wherever you are so again guys that's that's the five reasons why i decided whenever i was needing a second vacuum i could have just went and bought another one of these and, and that would have done me fine i would have used one for dry one for wet but i actually got this one on sale at home depot for 179 it wasn't a lot more than me going and purchasing another one of these, which I think they usually run like 159, 139. I can't remember uh, at the time. I think I, whenever I bought this, it was like $99 or something, but the price has went up since then. Uh, and it was worth it to me for the five things that I said, the fact that it's got that hose on the outside, so it's just real fast. Uh, it's also quieter, has those two speeds. It's pack out, gonna work in my truck a lot better as far as not gonna rattle around. Uh, but mainly the fact that it takes that filter bag and also that I don't have to mix that now between wet and dry. I now have two vacuums, one for wet, one for dry. I think that's a really good thing to have. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below if you like that same kind of a setup. If you like a wet vacuum and a dry vacuum, uh, let me know in the comments below what you do. Uh, I'm really interested to hear everybody's take on that. Uh, also, if you've got this vacuum, and you upgraded from this one at some point in time, whether this one just clunked out on you or maybe you just decided you wanted it, uh, let us know your experience in the comments below too. If you had your preference, now that you've used both of them, which one would you rather use? Again, don't just take my opinion. Read the comments below. There's always lots of great people with great suggestions down in those comments. If you're watching this video, make sure you check those out. But I hope all is well with you. I hope that this was useful in some way. Uh, I hope that you all stay safe and have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.